Hi, I'm Mariana Figuero. I'm a professor and director at the Lighting Research Center at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. In previous videos in this series, we discuss why it's important to get the right amount of CS at the right time of day in order to keep your circadian rhythms entrained. Based on our research, the LRC recommends receiving CS of at least 0.3 during the day, especially in the morning hours, and a CS of no greater than 0.1 in the evening hours. Typically, that means purposely delivering CS in the morning and minimizing or blocking CS in the evening. If possible, the best way for someone to get the recommended morning CS is to be outdoors after daybreak. Daylight is an ideal light source for the circadian system. It has the right amount and spectrum of light. Soon after waking is best, but any time before noon is okay. Go outdoors for at least half an hour each morning. You'll receive enough light in the back of your eyes, even when the sky is overcast or you're wearing sunglasses. If you can't go outside, open the shades and sit facing your window for half an hour. If it's not possible to access daylight, then electric lighting can be used to deliver the desired CS. This can be accomplished with ceiling lights, floor and table lamps, or a combination of both. Because we need different amounts of CS at different times of the day, the lighting system should be dimmable, whether manually or automatically. Ideally, the lighting system would be tunable, not just dimmable. That way, you can adjust both the spectrum or color and the level of light. Tunable lighting can be programmed to provide high levels of cool white light in the morning for high CS. CS can be gradually reduced after lunch by providing lower levels of neutral white light in the mid-afternoon and even lower levels of warm white light in the early evening. When specifying electric lighting to provide CS, we recommend using the LRC's online calculator to determine how much CS a given system can deliver to occupants. One way to keep the evening CS low is to use only warm white light sources. If bright lights can't be avoided, orange goggles or glasses will block short wavelength blue light and reduce CS at the eye. The LRC found that watching television at a typical distance provide very little CS, so that's okay. Viewing an electronic device that's held close to your eyes, on the other hand, does produce enough CS and can disrupt your sleep. This can happen even if you use a feature that changes the color of the display to appear more orange or warmer. You also need to reduce the device's screen brightness or simply turn it off. In the next videos, we'll discuss lighting for the elderly, shift workers, adolescents, and office workers.